What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to color a rainbow with Copic markers. Now I'm going to start off showing you guys what colors you'll need to actually color the rainbow. And the colors you'll need are R27, YR68, Y15, YG09, B02, BV04, and V17. Now these are gonna actually be the colors of the rainbow, but since these are all different hues, they're gonna be a bit difficult to blend into each other. So that's why I have transition colors that I can use to help me. Those transition colors are R08, YR16, YG03, BG15, and BV02. So all together, that's 12 colors. But before we get into using the markers, there's a little something that we gotta do first. So let's do that. So what you see here, I don't know if you can see it, but I used the 4H pencil on it. I made sort of like a strip across the page. That's supposed to be the shape that we're gonna color a rainbow onto. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna use a red colored pencil. And on this side, I'm gonna use a purple one because red is on one side, purple is on the other. And I wanna make it sort of like thin air because to me, a rainbow is not necessarily a solid object. So that's why I wanna use a different illustration technique when I'm coloring a rainbow. On this one end, I'm gonna use my red colored pencil to make that strip red. And then I'm gonna use, do the same thing on this side with a purple colored pencil. Okay, and then if you want, you can take a kneaded eraser and just erase any pencil lines that you may have left behind because the pencil lines will get in the way. Now that that's done, there's still something we gotta do before we get to the markers. So with the ruler, I'm gonna take this shape and I'm gonna divide it into seven equal pieces. So let's take 10 and a half and we're gonna divide that by seven. So 10 and a half divided by seven is 1.5. So 1.5, 3, 4.5, 6, 7.5, 9, and 10 and a half. So we got that broken up into pieces, and with my 4H pencil or any other pencil with like a lighter lead, I'm gonna make strips of lines going across the page, matching the lines just like this. We wanna make it all parallel. And then you can get your eraser back again, but only erase to an extent where you can still see the lines, but very, very lightly. So you don't want to erase these lines completely, but you want to be able to see the division we just did. So that way we know where to place each color. So I know you guys can't see it, but I can still see it. But now we just broken this strip up into seven equal pieces, which makes it easy when we're drawing this rainbow. So we know where to apply our normal colors and our transition colors. So, with that being said, let's actually get into it. So I'm gonna take each color of the rainbow. So I'm gonna take each color of the rainbow and color in each strip. But when I'm doing that, I like to leave some white space on it. This is what I mean. So I'm gonna use my R27. And I'm not going outside of this red line. Okay, and then I also did tend to leave some space so I can apply the transition color. And then I got some orange on here as well. Also leaving some white space in between the two. Okay, now for the last two colors, I don't really have a transition color for that. The reason why is because those two are close to the same value. So that's why instead of having a color to blend them two into each other, they can really be blended into each other without a color needing to be in between. So the two, BV04 and V17, I'm gonna start with the B04 over here. I'm gonna overlap the line that I said I wasn't gonna cross, and then I'm gonna use the V17, and not crossing this purple line because we reached the end of this strip. I'm gonna fill this space in first, and then just blend the two into each other. Because as you can see, I'm getting a blend in already. Because like I said, they're close to the same value. Okay, so those are the only two colors that have been blended together. The rest, they need our transition colors. So, we're gonna start back at the red, and we're gonna use our R08 to blend the red in with the orange. 
And as you can see, this R08 color is like a, is like close to a tomato red, but it's also an in-between color between the two. It's as if you mix this red and this orange together. And with that, it blended in with the red just fine. So now we gotta blend the orange in. And we can double coat the orange if you want to. Don't really see much of a difference, but we did it. Then we're gonna take our YR16 and blend that orange in with the yellow. And then sometimes it takes a little bit more uh, layers of yellow to blend the two in with each other. But that's also because you may need a different color, but I found YR16 to be a good uh, transition color for this one. Let's see, we're getting a blend now. And now we're onto the yellow green. So we're gonna start off with the green, go back into the yellow. Make sure to also blend that green. And then maybe darken that if we need to. Because with this blending, we gotta go back and forth with it sometimes. And now the BG15 with the green and the blue. We need to go back to the green and you know get a smooth blend out of there. And then apply the BO2 again. And then one more color I have left is the BV02, which we can blend into this indigo-ish color, also known as BV04. And we may need to push that blue a little bit more because we're seeing this BV02 color as another color of the rainbow. But it's supposed to be a transition color and we're not supposed to see a whole lot of it. So that's why we got to use the blue again to help push it back. So I finished the piece and there are going to be some parts with that you might need to fix which you just saw me do. So you may need to go back and need to push the green a little bit, push the purple or whatever the case may be. I also applied this rainbow illustration to this drawing right here. And believe me, this rainbow was not easy to make because I tried to make it a specific path. Because when I started doing it, I started doing it up here and then it got to a larger size. So I had to divide it more around this area, maybe this area, but definitely around here because it's a shorter area. So I wasn't sure if I needed to apply the transition colors or the amount that I had to apply around this area. So when I got around here, it got a little bit challenging, but it's done now. But in any case, that's how you color a rainbow with Copic markers. And all the colors that I use in the video will pop up somewhere on the screen if you want to try this out for yourself as well. But if you like my video and you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.